Yeah, all right, you guys. This is a super fun one. I'm actually at the Grants Pass Growers and Crafters Market this morning, right before the holidays. So it's abundant in there right now and super fun. But today I'm putting the driver, the wheel in your, in your hands. You're in the driver's seat when we're considering best practices and a daily um, habit or, you know, I like considering the hygiene, right? We brush our teeth every day to maintain good dental hygiene. What about our abundance hygiene? What activities, let's keep it to no more than 10 minutes, you ranking what you believe are the most important activities for an abundance practice. All right, so just in case you're not sure of, you know, um, what magic questions are, magic questions are something that keeps your mind active in regards to, in the subconscious even, and I, when I use this technique, I'm reminded like that I come up with my answers in the middle of the night. It's hilarious. I'll, I'll get the answer to my magic question, usually around 1 a.m., and I definitely write it down because I don't want to lose it. But a magic question is simply something like, how do I make more money by working and work less? So I'm asking myself how to leverage things and be more productive with my time um, to add value. And so my mind starts to think about those things, not only right here during this time, but also when I'm not necessarily having it on the forefront, it actually goes on the back burner. And the best way to use magic questions, which I'll go into deeper probably in another um, kind of like um, essential skills um, course or something like that. But basically spend 15 to 20 minutes really digging deep into the magic question, um, form it, see if you can answer it, and then kind of let it go. Let it just kind of percolate. And generally speaking, within 72 hours, you'll have the answer or one of them because all of this is a journey isn't it so considering the fact that it's a journey it just started snowing a little bit that's so awesome what are your abundance hygiene activities no more than 10 minutes please rank them and then explain why you think they're the most important for you or what you have prescribed for your kids or your community or anyone else in the stoke tribe to really build um a phenomenal practice around abundance right on i've got mine i can't wait to put them in there i'm really excited to see what you say as well thanks for sharing the stoke you guys